Hey you guys, it's Megan. So I am so excited to bring you my next project pan and this is a collaboration with Emily R on YouTube and she contacted me a few months ago about some ideas she had for a future project pan and I was just so excited that she asked me to do this with her. So this is Finish 18 by Election Day and it was all Emily's idea so you guys have to go check out her channel and subscribe to her. She is one of my favorite people to watch on YouTube. I've been watching her since the very beginning of her channel when her and her roommate did videos together and I just loved her from the very beginning. So definitely check her out and support her. I bet a ton of you are already subscribed, but please go check out her channel and see her intro as well. So this project is gonna go from today. I'm starting this on July 8th. I'm filming this on July 3rd, but you guys are seeing this on July 8th and it's gonna end on election day, which is November 8th. So we have four months to do this project. I'm just so excited about this because this is my perfect type of project. A larger number of items, but a longer time period. So I just couldn't wait to start this project. And thank you again so much to Emily for asking me to do this with you. So please, you guys join in on this, even if you aren't in America and you don't have election day on November 8th do it for your election day or just end it on November 8th whether it's your election day or not and Emily picked 18 items for this because you have to be 18 to vote so I just love that and I cannot wait to share with you guys the items that I am choosing for this project and can't wait to update you every month and let you know how I'm doing on my progress so I have some like non makeup and then a lot of makeup. So I'll start with the makeup because that's obviously the most exciting. I am still going to work on my Chanel Perfection Lumiere foundation, which I had in my finished 24 by 4th of July. I cannot see how much I have left of this foundation. I've never been able to. When I hold a light up to it, you can't see it. You can't take off this to see inside. So we'll just see how long it takes me. I haven't been using it every day recently because I've been trying out some other foundations, but I hope to finish this up by November 8th. A product that I'm very excited to work on is my Becca Moonstone Highlighter. And so my goal for this is to just hit pan. I have been able to see the rings in this for quite a while. I have no idea if that means that I'm going to hit pan soon or what, but those rings are just taunting me. So I really want to see if I can hit pan on this. And it is one of my all time favorite highlighters. I think that it's so beautiful on my skin. And I just want to see if it's possible to do this. It's also a beautiful eyeshadow, so I can use it in that way. But this is a who knows what's going to happen type of item, but I'm really excited to see if that is possible for me. This is another one of those types of products. This is a mini NARS blush in Deep Throat. This is one of my favorite blushes. Hate the name, love the color. It is the perfect peachy pink. It is gorgeous. I haven't used it in a long time and I think I've had this in a project before or tried to hit pan on it before but I just couldn't stick with it. So I'm gonna see if this is possible for me. It's obviously a small product but blushes, trying to hit pan on those, it's like impossible for me. So that's another like challenge type of product and we'll see what happens with that. I want to try to hit pan on my Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner. I think Emily has done this in a project in the past. So I've used quite a lot of this and I think that it'll be pretty easy to hit pan, but I don't just want to like hit pan. I want to actually use a lot of this up because while I like this product, I definitely don't think it's worth the price. I really just want to get the Essence one. I was being like so ridiculous when I thought that this would be better than the $3 Essence liner. I think that one's just as good if not better. So I want to get my money's worth out of this before it dries up, but it's not something I would really recommend just because it's there's so many less expensive options that are just as good. I want to 
completely use of this Kevin Aquan um, candlelight powder. It's just a mini that I got with a gift with purchase. So I've been using this, sorry it's all dusty, I've been using this a lot as an eyeshadow. So just putting it all over my lid as a base and it's really pretty for that. I don't particularly love this as a highlighter. I just don't see any real highlighting effects, mostly because it is a similar tone to my skin. So it's not very shimmery, which is nice for if you have darker skin because this will show up as more of a light like section of your face but this is pretty much the same color as my skin so it just doesn't really do anything on my face but as an eyeshadow it's really pretty so I just want to uh, try to use this up and hopefully that is possible I've been working on my Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in Auburn and I'm gonna make a mark on a piece of paper with my starting point for all these products. So if you can see here, I'm down to the R on the perfect brow pencil. And I sharpen this pretty regularly because when it gets dull, it just doesn't look very good in the brows. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to use most of this up, if not all of this, by the end of this project. I think I've had this for definitely over a year, maybe a little bit more than that, maybe a year and a half. So I really want to use this pencil up because I love my NYX micro brows and that's what I really want to repurchase, but I want to get the use out of this because it is a nice product. Another product from my Finish 24 by 4th of July is the L'Oreal Infallible Eye Crayon in Enduring Rose. I love this product. It is taking forever to use this up. You don't need very much of it, but I'm hoping that since I've been better about wearing makeup most of the days out of the week because I used to be very lazy and wouldn't wake up early enough before work to do my makeup, but now I've been getting a lot better at that, so I hope that I'll be able to make more, like, great progress, better progress on this than in my finished 24 by 4th of July. So we'll see if I'm able to finish that all up. I bought this last year in California, the Dolly Wink Liquid Eyeliner. So I really don't want it to get dried out. It's nowhere near dried out, but I do want to try to use this all up for this project or at least get lots of use out of it before it dries up or goes bad. So I know I already have a gel liner, but why not use this? Because I love this liquid liner. And then two lip products. I am going to try to use up my Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Gloss in, I believe this is called Taupe With Me. They like make the name so difficult to find. Okay, it's on here. Yeah, Taupe With Me. So I've been using this at my desk at work. It's a nice gloss, very sheer, moisturizing. So I We'll see. Uh, I have been able to use up glosses in the past, so I haven't done it in a while, but I think that's definitely possible. And then this I am very excited to work on. This is the Chanel Rouge Coco Shine in Boy. So it's very fancy, very luxurious, and my friend Natasha got this for me last Christmas for our Secret Santa. So you can see how much I have used up of that. And if you roll it up, this is how much I have left. So again, I've been keeping this at my desk at work. It's a beautiful color, very natural, doesn't give much color payoff on my lips. But the reason I want to use this up, one, it was a gift and it was an expensive one, so I want to get Natasha's money out of it. But also, I don't absolutely love it. It's not something I will repurchase. And most of these products that I am working on in this project are ones that I like well enough that I want to use them up. But it's not something I would really go out and repurchase right away. So I know I'll enjoy every bit of this, but it's not my absolute favorite lip product. And then moving on to the skincare and non-makeup products, I want to use up two masks. I want to use up this Glam Glow Thirsty Mud, which I bought last Christmas for myself, or last Black Friday. So I have, I have a lot of this left. This thing holds quite a bit of product. I love the smell of this. It smells like coconuts, but I don't find myself reaching for this very much. So I want to get in the habit of using it, see if I really, really love it. It has a cooling effect on my skin, which I'm not sure how much I love, but I definitely want to try to use at least most of this up and uh, just see my opinions on this. And then the other mask I want to use up is the Farmhouse Fresh Sunday Best Chocolate Softening Mask. So this is one I purchased last fall um, during 
a derm store sale and I have only used it one time but as you can see I use quite a bit of it um it does smell like chocolate kind of it looks like pudding it's crazy um but I don't know how much I like it I only use it once like I said and I just don't really have an opinion on it yet so I do want to use this up because I don't think it'll be one of my favorite masks of all time so I just want to use it up it's more of a natural product and I just want to move it out of my collection for a perfume I am going to work on the awesome Nicki Minaj Pink Friday I love the packaging of this it's kind of creepy just take her head off <laughs> to use it um, but I am at this line up here by her neck and this just smells awesome it's such a nice perfume but I do want to work through it it's one of my least expensive perfumes so even if I repurchase it down the line it's not going to be like if I used up my Giorgio Armani or something which is like $60 I think this is less than 20 so I think this is 1.7 fluid ounces so we have a ways to go but I really really love the scent of this and I'm excited to work on this in the project this is something I'm not too excited about using. It's the Arcana Gentle Solution. This is a serum that is supposed to help just keep your skin clear and look nice. This is one that like pushes up from the bottom. I have no idea how much I have left of this. I don't love this one because of the scent. It smells like cherries and I really hate the way cherries smells. Um, and I just haven't really seen great results with this. So I'm going to try to use it up and I think it'll be good for my skin in the summertime especially. But I'm hoping that we can use this up in the first like two months so I don't have to look at it anymore. I want to uh, keep working on my hand cream. So the one I picked is the Hand and Nail Balm from Sebamed. So I have about uh, this much left. This is a very thin hand cream. The company did send this to me I think last summer. So I've had it for a long time. It's definitely not one of my favorites. Like I said, it's very thin, even though it's called a balm, which you would think is like very thick and nourishing. And I just don't find that it's like that. So I thought it would be good for the summer when my hands aren't super, super dry. So work through the rest of this in the next few months and uh, definitely wouldn't really recommend it. I want to use up two uh, cleansers. The first is the Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil. So cleansing oils that I use to remove my makeup last me forever. I have been using this for a few weeks and I've only used this much up. So I am not sure if I'll be able to use up this whole thing, but I do want to see how long it takes me to use up one of these bottles because I have quite a few oil cleansers that I use solely for removing my makeup. I don't use this to like actually cleanse my skin just to remove makeup. So um, I just want to track my progress and see how much is actually used each month and if it's possible to use up all the ones I have within like the next year because I have a lot. It's ridiculous if you watch my um, beauty inventory. So yeah, this is more like a see what happens kind of thing. If I use it up, that's amazing. But if not, I'll at least see how much is used on a regular basis each month because I use this every night that I wear makeup. And then for a more normal cleanser, I want to use up the Elemis Tri Enzyme Resurfacing Facial Wash. I bought this last Christmas for myself. This is a $50 face wash. It's really ridiculous um, and I have no idea my opinions on it. I've used this much up in all that time in over half a year and I just haven't used it regularly enough to know whether or not I actually like it. So I do want to see how much I can get through this. I use it pretty much with my Clarisonic or just on my face. It does have a lather, um, which I don't love, but I do want to see what my thoughts are on this product. As of now, I definitely don't think it's worth $50. And then my last product is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So this is just a deluxe size. I'm about to hear. What is weird about this is that I have only used this once. I had Chloe use it once as well. And it is that full, like that empty. How is that much used in two uses? 
I feel like it just wasn't full when it came to me. So I don't know how long this will last. If you hold it upside down, you can also see through the bottle. Um, if you hold a light up to it, you can see through this part. But I don't know. This is very, very hyped up. I'm not sure how I'll feel about it. Like I said, I only used it once. Didn't really notice a difference. Chloe didn't really notice a difference when she used it. So... I'll see if this does anything. If not, whatever. I think I bought this with a gift card. So didn't lose out much on that. But I do want to see what all the hype is about this. It just went out of control, the hype over this product. So I'm going to see what my thoughts are on it and uh, just test it out and let you guys know. So those are my 18 products for Finish 18 by Election Day. Please join Emily and I on this challenge. I'm so excited to see how far we can get on these products in the next four months. And I can't wait to see what products Emily picked for this challenge as well. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited for this new project pan. Definitely go check Emily out. Like I said, this was all her idea and I'm just very thankful that she asked me to join her on this challenge. So thanks so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And let's go kick some panning butt on this challenge, right? So I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.